Hey guys, Iceman here. And first off, I'd like to thank my latest patron, Ivan. Thank you, man. He uh, made a very generous donation to my patron account. So I have like six or seven patrons as of right now. And uh, I'm very pleased with that, man. And yeah, your uh, patronage in particular is very nice as well. So thank you for that. And if you guys want to become a patron, click the link in the description below. So Ivan has really helped me out today with that. And uh, every bit adds up, you know what I mean? It's a good time that uh, I can play Diablo, make these videos. I mean, I've been playing this game ever since I was a duck-billed platypus for some time, man. And I took a break for a while, but then I came back. I saw, I saw how people were playing Diablo 2 still, and I couldn't believe it. So I got on, and I really enjoy it. And um, it's been great ever since, you know, I pretty much stopped being, uh, playing Diablo 3. And uh, I went back to the roots, you know, to the good games. Diablo 2 in particular. Now, of course, there's going to be another Diablo announcement, it seems, at BlizzCon. So I'm really looking forward to that, man. They might turn it around. They might make Diablo 4 an awesome game that caters to its original uh, hardcore audience. You know? It's real fan base, not just the casual gamer. So let's hope that it goes in that way. You know, I think there's a chance it will. Even though it might not uh, make sense to Blizzard on paper necessarily, but they might want to reinforce fans' confidence in their brand. And by uh, making an epic Diablo 4 game, I think it's possible. But check this out. This video is on uh, how to e-bug armor. Ethereal Bugging Armor is freaking awesome because it grants an additional 50% armor base to an Ethereal Armor by uh, cube socketing it. Now this is beneficial because you can pop it on your Merc for some godly Ethereal Armor. Mine's not even wearing an Eth Armor. I'm wearing a piece of shit. Lionheart right now. This is on my Barbarian on US East Ladder. Ice Swall. He's wearing some GG gear, man. I made this awesome grief kind of early in Ladder. 3 and 96 damage. It's very nice. And here's what else he has on. I've obtained this stuff throughout the duration of this ladder. But I haven't played this character in a while. I've been playing a lot on my Amazon lately. So check out those videos if you guys want. But, yeah, e-bugging armor is a great way to optimize your player's and your mercenary's defense. Obviously because it's the best way to get top defense on an armor. So ideally you make, you e-bug these armors. And you get three or four sockets, sometimes less. And uh, in which case you can make Chains of Honor, uh, most commonly Fortitude, which has GG defense, man, over, over 4,000 defense. And uh, you can make Treachery, a really nice Treachery. It sucks that Treachery doesn't have any enhanced defense, but still, if you want to use Treachery on your Merc, the best way to go is an E-Bug armor that has over 1,000 defense, sometimes 1,200 plus. These ones are very nice. If you get an, e an Ethereal Armor in the 700 defense plus range, you have a nice armor. And check this one out, man. One off from 800. This is godly. A Lucard Plate. So let's see what I get. Now the problem is it's all based off chance. See, it's going to randomly spawn the minimum to maximum to somewhere in between sockets on this armor. So... You gotta take the chance, man. You don't just go socket it with Larzuk. If you use the quest, it's gonna maintain its defense. It's not gonna get enhanced by that hidden 50% increment. So check this out. I'm hoping for a 40s. On the ladder's realms and stuff, the four socketed armors tend to trade the best, you know? People desire the four socketed armors because you can make fortitude and chains of honor in it, primarily fortitude. And I think stone as well, right? But check this out. Let's let's see what I get. This armor is going to be godly, man. The defense is at least. And it's not a bad strength requirement. That's something else you need to check into. See, it's 198. My Merc, for example, has 218 strength right now. His base strength is 193. So unless if you'll level him up quite a bit more, you're going to have to have A plus strength gear if you want him to wear that armor with Fortitude, for example. Because Fortitude doesn't grant any strength. But if they're wearing Insight, they're going to get uh, plus 5 to all attributes, so that'll get them there. 
But nonetheless, let's see what I get. So the recipe is simple. An ethereal armor, preferably in the 700, 800 defense range, sometimes 600. People use those as well, but the end product isn't as godly. Just an ethereal armor, a towel rune, a perfect topaz, and a thal. Now I have two of them to make here. Let's see what we get. Wish me's luck. Bruh. There it goes. Oh, shit. Dude, one socket? Oh my, that's the worst case scenario. What a piece of shit. Yeah, but look at that awesome defense. 1198. Well, at least it helps clear up some space because my mules are, are getting freaking packed with gear. I'll just keep that thing in the game, man. And leave it. The thing's a piece of shit. Nobody wants that. It's pretty much useless. All right. Tell, Thal, and uh, Perfect Topaz. 729 now. Let's see what I get. Ooh, look at that. Not so bad. See, because my Amazon actually wears an ethereal treachery. But it's not e-bugged. I just found it ethereal with three sockets. So her Merc has like 600 some defense on that thing. So now I can almost double his defense by making a treachery in this one. See? And that's what I'll do. Son of a bitch, man. That, uh, that look hard play. Wow. I can't use this yet. What a pain in the ass that is. Now I do have one more in a shadow plate, which has a 220 strength requirement when it's ethereal. So that really sucks, obviously. But uh, depending on your build, it could work. You know, if you have Andy's Visage, for example, on your mercenary, you get that huge strength boost to where at higher levels, he'll be able to wear a shadow plate. Oh, damn. So I might e-bug that one, but it's better to get something with less strength requirement. You know, Archon plates are very nice. Even the uh, Leckward plates and these Loricated males aren't that bad either. And Bone Weave as well is good, good stuff, man. There's a few others. I actually have a Dusk Shroud that I e-bugged in its 40s, luckily. But it only has like 960 defense because the duck, Dusk uh, Shroud range isn't that vast, you know. And the maximum isn't, uh, it's, it's very minimal in terms of uh, elite armors. So check out the range on the Ariat Summit website of the armor type that you have. And then you could get an idea of uh, what you can expect from them when they're ethereal. But yeah, if you get something in the 700 defense... High 700s is awesome, and I think even 800s, they can come in 800s. But those are very rare and very valuable if you e-bug them, especially the sacred armor. Yeah, people love the sacred armor, Fortitudes, man. The e-bugged, four-socketed sacred armor. If you get one of those, you can trade that for like a ton of high runes if you get a nice roll. So like this video, if you will, hit the thumbs up button and uh, more gameplay videos to come with my Amazon. I have a lot of stuff I'm working on with her and I'll be making more videos, especially when um, on the topic of the next Diablo project. But yeah, I mean, I've been having a great time with Diablo too. So like the video, become a patron if you want. And Ivan, man, I really appreciate that. And Cooper and uh, Michael S. Man, you guys have really been helpful. Uh, supporting me on Patreon. So I appreciate that and more videos to come. Peace with you.